we're going to be making a kind of a squid-like alien thing today, like blobs around on the screen. A little bit like this. So let me show you how to make that inside a Cinema 4D. Right, here we are inside the Cinema 4D. Let's make a slimy squid alien blobby thing. Okay, I don't know what else you can call it really. So what we have is we start with a, a sphere and let's put that radius in uh, 300. And let's do a copy, control copy that sphere to another one. And let's put that radius in at 20 and then we don't need many segments on this. We want this to run quicker. So let's just bring that down to three. Right, let's call them the first one main main sphere, just so we don't get confused which, uh, which one's which. Right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna clone the smaller spheres onto the, the main sphere. Right, so we click on cloner, put the small spheres inside the cloner. Um, on the cloner mode, we want object, and then the object we want the main sphere let me put that in and also we want to make sure that the distribution is surface okay so if you have a look on here that you can see they're all stuck to the surface right let's bring the count down to about 10 don't need that many so that's the kind of look you're after they look like little like barnacle diamonds shapes stuck onto this sphere right what do we do now let's go to MoGraph and let's grab a tracer Okay, and let's call this main sphere tracer. And let's do a control copy of that tracer and call this one a cloner tracer. Right, we also need something called a metaball. Right, this is going to connect this blobbiness all together. So if we go on here and go to metaball, we want to put the tracer or both tracers in underneath the metaball like that. Okay, so they're both child of the metaball. All right, what we do now is we, on the, oh, I've called it cloner. <laughs> Let's put an, an L in there. All right, so on the cloner tracer, where it says trace link, we want to grab the cloner and drop that in there. Um, and this is have a look at the settings here. We want to have a uh, limit from end and put in seven and then the type let's go b spline and adaptive something like that right on the main sphere tracer we need to drop in the main sphere here we need to change the tracing mode to connect all objects and then again if we change the type to b spline and the intermediate points to adaptive right so what do we do now? Let's have a look. We've got that, we've got this one here. Right, we need to add a jiggle deformer onto the main sphere. And that'll give it that kind of fluid movement when it's going through the through the air um, or the sea, it will kind of wobble around. So a really good effect, the jiggle, I love this one. We drop that onto the main sphere and then let's just, um, I don't know, let's put 12 in there. Let's take a bit of the stiffness off structure. We don't really want a lot of structure. This we want it to be quite fluid and wobbly. So something like that. We'll, we'll give that a go, see what that's like. Okay. Um, and then finally, we need another deformer, which will be the smoothing deformer. Right. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to put, let's, let's group the smoothing and the metaball and tracers into a null. So just group those. And the smoothing, uh, it will work because it's in this same hierarchy, basically. It doesn't matter if you put it above or below, I don't believe. But as long as it's in there with the metaball, it will smooth everything out. So let me just see. Yeah, let's just try that like that. Let's see if we've got everything in place. Um, let's give, oh, we've got 800 frames. Yeah, I was going to say, give yourself around about 800 frames just so we've got enough time for this to play out. Okay, so what we do is we hit play and then we click on the main sphere and then we move it about. Okay, now it looks like there's a few settings we need to change. So let's have a look at what's, what's happening. Right, so we go into Metaball. Ah, we haven't looked at the Metaball. We need to change the whole value of the Metaball. 
let's put that in at 300 percent and let's put some subdivisions out at 50 and the render subdivisions at 50. All right now if we press play and we click on the main sphere and we grab these handles we've got that okay now what you might notice there is the main sphere is actually going before the rest of it if you move it too quick you'll see that you'll see the main sphere kind of coming out so what i do is i just turn off the main sphere and i turn off the spheres for the cloner because you don't want to see them either right now let's just make a quick material what i did on my example is i just used this kind of slimy alien green which is quite appropriate for this and i put a bit of transparency on of like a water and then what you can do here is on that green if you right click you can copy that color and then if you go on to transparency absorption color we can paste that on there so we get the same color let's take the brightness down a bit of the transparency so it's not all transparent you know we've got a bit of solid and a bit of transparency coming through and we now need to drop that onto this null. Now you can call that null. I um, don't know. Um, we can call it slimy squid or something, can't you? Yeah. Just give it a name. So there's your slimy squid. You can, we can actually group that all under, couldn't we really? And call it that. But we don't need to grab all of these pieces to move it. We just need to click on the main sphere, press play, and then we just move that, okay? And then we've got this lovely motion there. Now to make this move on its own, rather than keyframe all of that, if you right click on main sphere, go to animation tags and put on a vibrate tag. Okay, and what I do is enable position and I'll put a big old number in there, like 5,000, probably 2,000 in that one and 2,000 in that one. And frequency, probably about one. And then let's put some rotation on as well. Let's have the thing doing a little bit of rotating while it's um, while it's moving, those sort of numbers. Again, probably one or 0.5, something like that. Right, so if we press play now, the thing will move around. Let's just take that off. It will slow down a bit because it's quite a lot of processing, especially when it gets to its full extent. It's full kind of stretching us. But it will render really, really nicely. Okay, it's a lovely little, little animation, this. And just to finish it off, what we could do is add a, a background and let's have another color here. And let's put on, um, what I like to do is just put like a, a gradient. I'm just thinking there's another we could probably use. No, let's, let's, let's use a physical sky. I've just changed my mind. We'll put on a physical sky, but we'll go to sky and we'll turn off physical sky and then we will just reverse the order of these because what this will do is it will make it look a bit like the sea you know something like a bit of an alien setting so if we just have a quick render of that okay we might need to up the transparency a little make it a little bit more transparent so what we do is go on transparency and then just move that up and then just try that again okay let's just see if it moves to there Let's try the render where we move it around to see what that's going to give us there. Yeah, okay. So you can see that kind of nice kind of like transparency feel that you might get if it's like a, an, an alien creature in the sea. So if you render that out, you will get this really nice effect. So I won't do that now because you've seen my video where I've done that, but I hope that's been useful. Um, it's a lovely little effect. There's so many things you can change once you've got it. You know, you can have more clones, you can have metaball changes, you don't have to have the whole value so much. You can bring this up or down and it will change the whole way. Look, just by doing that, and you can render that and you get these kind of really different looks. You know, you can have a blobby one or you can have something a bit more spiky and less smooth. Just play around with it. It's a wonderful thing using tracers, metaballs, um, cloners and smoothing right I hope that's I hope you've enjoyed that and I will speak to you in the next video bye for now